Bro, it's six cause... two. Six two minus a foot. <laughs> uh. Okay. Oh, I don't fuck with nope. you. <laughs> yeah, this is the end of it. You little stupid ass bitch. I ain't fucking with you. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> Stop. They played I Don't Fuck With You, by the way. <laughs> Atos to Life oh. Podcast, baby. Most authentic, most organic podcast out here. Let's go. Right, shout out to our host, our sponsor for this episode, Mixed Wizard Studios. Come check them out and this is a lot, baby. You already know how we do. Yeah. This is episode three of our internal podcast. You know, got to our my left, the strongest, shortest guy in the world, but Mr. Jose, no <laughs> way. We got my best friend over there too, up, Mr. Best Pepe, bestie, my passenger princess all the time. Hey. And we finally have back someone we've had beef with for a while. It's on site after this podcast. Yeah, Stranger her. danger. Stranger danger, but reintroduce her full name, government name. Government not introduce her <laughs> my government name. We got the one and only Becca sitting back with us. Yeah. We had to renew her contract, so that's why she's. <laughs> yeah, I had to renew back. my license. Y'all. She wanted new. Mo- she, she was like, "I want money now." She's like, "I yeah. want." She was money. like, "She was like, I just I need new friends, and you guys yeah. are not it no more. New year, new I you." Lo- I looked honestly. <laughs> And what happened? <laughs> She's the problem. That's all I'm and hearing. And look where you're at now. <laughs> she came no, back. everybody submitted applications. I'm still kind of going through it. It's pending. So you're still, just here to speak your piece? I mean. Are I'm you dropping s- us? Is this a formal goodbye? We'll find out. After this? Yeah. On parking lot. We tenemos mucho patio para correr. Oh, yeah. It's, it was a big parking lot. <laughs> How you been, dude? Good. <laughs> That's all we get. I've been you sounded so good. I'm good right now. for real. Good. I'm good. How you been? Good. good. Mm-hmm. Living life. Good. Living the LA. Well, well, you guys said you guys were gonna regañar me. We never so said that. We never said you that. You made that assumption. We, yeah. Why you you made that assumption. Why so you based on that, that assumption, you feel guilt or what? No. C- communicate better. I, I, I did. I did not. <laughs> <laughs> I let's mean, let's talk about all right. Let's talk about communication within friends. Yeah, let's what go. about it? What about it? How do you voice? How do you talk to someone when they don't respond? You don't. Mm. If they don't want to be bothered, they don't want to be bothered, <laughs> and I ain't trying to bother nobody. <laughs> what about you? What about you? Honestly, I think if I try to reach out and I just get no reply, then I can't. That yeah, that's the answer you need. Like what you don't it, have to reply. Yeah. Someone someone once told me the phone works both ways. I, I won't think we've all said that. <laughs> Let's be honest. I think we've all said that shit. The phone works both how, ways. How do you feel about that? That's a tough situation. That's so good. <laughs> Dog, all right. No, honestly. Three that's, minutes. <laughs> three minutes in, shortest podcast ever. We're gone. That's how I felt when she was messaging me today. I'm like, you going? Yeah. See you there? Okay. It's because I. Like, what? I was trying to get ready super fast. Mm. I was like, what? Who's this? I'm like, wow. Wow. And then she called me out of the blue. I was like, oh, Becca's coming. It's like, when she calls me. Oh, she called you? I didn't get a call. That's crazy. That's crazy. Crazy. Where you at? Oh, my God. She's like, you're in the freeway? Oh, barely? Is it just hard to work with me? Am I the problem in this? Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) You sons of. Are we allowed to plead to the fifth? (laughs) Are we allowed to be honest here? (laughs) So instead of your intervention, this is my intervention. I'm getting kicked out. (laughs) Basically. <laughs> What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the Toast to Life podcast. <laughs> nah, this is, we're going to, it's going to be a Cheeseman podcast after this. Oh, period. Wait, I think we're. She's going to show up to that one all the time. <laughs> for sure. She's like, I got time now. All right. Because you're Cheesemosa, we have. Pe- <laughs> Who said no, that? No, we, we have, okay, we have, we have people that, that put confessions in. Oh, period. And they've been going wild. So everybody, please answer this in your own ways. Always step away or change topics to a but what oh my god a situation I wish nope that was crazy I can't even <laughs> understand what the hell that person wrote maybe right. they meant to say avoid huh maybe they meant to say avoid you want to read it well just try plugging try in, in the sense. yeah try, try plugging sense in, in the try to avoid. make sense all right it said always step away or change topics to avoid the situation. I wish I could be brave enough to speak with a psychiatrist about this, but I can never let my son to be by himself with another man. 
Damn. That was deep. Yeah, that was crazy. I think I think this is the first part to it. It said, I do not know how to approach this topic. I moved miles away from my entire family. I haven't seen him in over 20 years. I cried for years asking God to erase these memories or give me clarity to understand everything and face all of them when my circle of friends talk about the topic. I always step away or change. Damn, I don't know. That's deep. It's kind of hard, like, um, but I mean, what was the topic? Was That's it what the, I'm trying the to figure out. What is the topic? Oh, there's a, no, there's a, like fourth part. There's a third part. No, four actually. One, yeah, three. She actually. just had that guy on the pod. For real, come through the podcast. <laughs> um, all right, let me see. Oh, I got a girl pregnant and eventually married her. It's not established, but I think just because she wanted citizenship. Then I met another girl and fell in love with her. Like she, like she's the one I was supposed to spend my life with. Man, what do you do there? <sighs> Had a baby with someone. You got married. Gave her citizenship. But you fell in love with somebody else. And that's the one you think is your person. But was it established that the only reason why she got citizenship was because she's the mother of your children? Well, they, well, they got married, right? Yeah. yeah. They got married. Well, they, she got pregnant, and then they got married, and then, obviously, the yeah, citizenship. Obviously, the citizenship. I, I don't know how... I, I don't remotely am close to any of that, but I don't know how it works, but if you get divorced, does she still keep the It's after X amount of years. Yeah. I don't um, know what it is, but it's after X amount of years. I think it's, what, five? I think so. Five, yeah. seven years? So, so the kid has to be because five they, to seven. they'll continue to interview the couple, like uh, oh, okay. like do check ins and stuff like that. Yeah. So you get, they have to like uh, like prove that their love was genuine, that the baby was like, yeah, yeah, made yeah. with love and not just for um, the, the citizenship itself. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Would you get? Like, would you guys stay? Like, say you were in that situation. I mean, if it's legal issues, then yeah, I feel like I'm I think obligated. at the end of the day, like just to give the baby a better life and a better chance, like I would. I would say stay and then just establish that, you know, like be like, hey, you know what? We're not really working out and you know that and I know that because we live in the same house. We're partners. Can we keep it together because we have a child? But, but let's do our things separate because we know that this is not really what it is. And for the legal reasons too, obviously, you know, yeah. because if the mom lo loses her citizenship, the baby loses opportunities too. Yeah. But then is that fair for the person that you fell in love with? Ooh. Now you are having to have them wait just because you did X, Y, and Z when you were younger. And I don't think no one's willing to wait anymore, especially in a situation like that. Right? Yeah. It's like, how long are you going to wait? How yeah. long is too long? What if they just met? I feel like it's worth a try for you to tell that person that you really love. If you actually love that person, I feel like it's at least worth a try to tell them, hey, this is my situation. I love you. But... Unfortunately, if you can wait, if we c this can wait, then we can revisit this in the future. How, how long do you wait, though? Exactly. How long would That's you wait? What the question is. Yeah. All right. How long would you guys wait for somebody that you truly, obviously, love and have those feelings for? It's because it's hard. I feel like, like these days, people are just like, they just swipe and next, 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 and it, unfortunately, that's, like, the, where we're at right now, like, in with social media and stuff like that. Yeah. It's not, like, before. Like, it's not the fucking notebook Damn, where he wrote movie. 365 letters and then still waited how many years, built her the whole house. That. Like, he did the whole thing, and then he just sat there and waited for her to pull up. Pull and up. she did her thing, right? Because she was about to get married. Yeah, she was about to get married. She went back. He was there. So, yeah, we don't do that anymore. We don't. Why waste time? Yeah, I don't know. I'm in the opposite. I'm a. I'm not. I'm that person. You're the like person if, that will wait. No, like no. If they yeah, haven't. I think I. I'm not saying I would wait, but I. I feel like I'll. I'll probably agree with whatever Jose is about to say too, though. I feel like if they haven't wronged you, and that's your actual person, I feel like I'll wait a lifetime. What a hopeless romantic. Wow, yeah. man. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Jose, dog. All right. It, perfect transition to the next question or situation. My ex and I broke up. He lost his house shortly after. After we spoke and hanged out, I felt more amazed than when we were together. But he said as a man, he needed to get everything in order, finances, and get a place again. 
he would want to try us again. Am I the second option or is he being real? So basically, he's being real. He's being a, a man and real. Like he doesn't yeah, want to give it a second. He's just using her because he lost everything and he knows that her life is put together. No, because he's trying to provide for her, but obviously he can't provide when he has nothing. At least, as at least for me, if I put myself in that situation, I would like to have my life together. One hundred percent. For me to provide and help and just take care of of my other person. Yeah. Facts. That's. I don't think you're the second option or anything. You're the only option, right? Yeah, he's trying to make it work for you. He's actually willing to put himself through what waiting. But they yeah. were already together. But then they broke up, and he lost everything. And now he doesn't want to try it again, just until he has his, he life, has back his together. life together. Which is not much different than us. A lot of us not dating yeah, that's true. because our life isn't together. Yeah, you know. But now, do you use that as an excuse or a reason Motivation. to build? Yeah. Like with that person, right? Like, I feel like if someone is with you and you have nothing really to offer, like financially or stuff I think like as that, long as I can see that this person's actually like taking the right steps to do whatever yeah. they say that they're gonna do, then obviously the intentions are there. But if they're just like kind of bullshitting you, like, oh yeah, well, you know, whenever I have it together, we'll we'll touch back. You know, it's kind of like girl, let's not touch back. Let's not touch back. All right, so there's this question that it came through IG. Should, we, should I say the guy's name? No. I mean, it wasn't anonymous. Maybe they meant to do it and they didn't know how to do it. Shout out DM. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it said, uh, the difficulty in loving someone who has low self-esteem while the po- while seeing the potential they have and their value. How hard is that? It's That's hard. hard. It is. Because you may see their worth. But if they don't believe it, yeah, it's hard. How do you You're get basically it? talking to a wall the whole time? Right. How do do you make it work? Do you leave? Do you stay? Or what is what is the? That's enough. Like I can't take it no more. I think the thing is that like how what Tony was saying earlier, like sometimes your light is too bright for other people, mm. and it doesn't matter like how much you try to shine on them, if they don't pick up on it, they don't pick up on it, and you can't waste all of your time and your energy on giving them affirmations, reminding them and showing them and doing all of this when they themselves don't believe in it. So you're just wasting you. Yeah. And I feel like if you do pursue that, like trying to help them see their, their value or their confidence, you need to understand what you're getting yourself into. Yeah. Like you can't like, yeah, it's not your responsibility, but you also know, okay, I'm getting myself into this relationship or this, this commitment. And I know it's, he's not, they're not in the, self evaluation for you to for yeah. them to see themselves so you shouldn't be um putting pressure on them saying to be like dude look at you yeah yeah, yeah. now do say for whatever reason that person has had enough and they leave hasn't it happened more than more than one time or a couple of times where someone leaves and they're like man i wish i had that that person still yeah but because you didn't value them at the time you were together, that person left, did their internal work and found someone that actually appreciated and loved them and was able to accept that love. Now this person over here is like, man, I wish I find yeah. that person one more time or someone like them. So I, I, I think the question here is more of a, when, when do you feel you're ready to accept love from somebody else? Because we talked about love languages, right? We talked about it on the way back from San Diego. Um, there's different love languages, right? And there's some with physical touch, quality time, affirmations. And then there's some that say, well, fuck that, I can't. I don't want to receive none of that, but it's very hard to love. Yeah. So when, like, how do you show love to someone that doesn't accept none of those love languages? Is it how we're saying the healing part? Or do you, I, I said it the other day where it's like, you may not be ready to, you may not know how to accept this love, but out of the person that I am and I want to be for you, I'm going to show you what that love is. And I'm going to remind you and constantly of, hey, even if it's just little acts of kindness, little acts of love, whether it's flowers, quality time, reassurance, for as a girl, like when you don't accept love or don't like accepting love, how do you allow someone in? It's, it's just hard because I feel like until I love myself, 
then I'll allow people to love me. What if someone loves you for you? Like, hey, I don't need nothing from you. I just love who you are, and I want to grow with you. It's hard to love somebody when it's you don't hard. love yourself. Because really that's is. so, like, me personally, like, that's not fair for me to do to anyone else. Yeah. Like, even I, first of all, don't take compliments. Like, ever. If anybody <laughs> can tell me anything, I'll be like, Thanks. Aww. And I barely even say thanks. Thanks. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. yeah. I know. Oh, okay. 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 But it's because until I feel that about myself, then I'm not going to be able to accept it. And it's unfair to the other person for them to be pouring into my cup continuously, day, yeah. day after day, day after day, day after day, doing the most, obviously, because every time I don't reciprocate or give them like any feedback, they're going to think, let me do more. Let me do more. Let me, I'm not doing enough. And for all you know, they're doing the most. So you feel guilty for not like say they're. I do. They're giving you all that love, right? The reassurance, the acts of kindness, the time, quality time. But yet you're giving them... Nothing. Nothing. Yeah, I, I feel guilty. Even accepting compliments from people, knowing that I don't feel that way about myself, I'm like... It makes me question everything, and I'm like, dude, like I'm not like deserving of that until I find the love within me to, to say those kind things to myself, to buy myself the flowers, to do all those things. So your love language, what is it? Zero? Non-existent? No, I just won't say. <laughs> Why? I don't want people to be pulling up. It's sounding like uh, physical touch? <laughs> no. <laughs> quality time? No. Gifts? Um, I think quality time and probably just quality time. Like, I'm good with that. Don't say a word, though, huh? Just stay. Yeah, just don't just, talk to me. Just yeah. don't. Sure just don't. Presence. Barely breathe. Don't yeah. even breathe. Just but be in the same room with me. Yeah. But don't be too loud. Good. But don't yeah. breathe too loud. Don't be too loud. Yeah. What Jose? What's your love language? Uh, acts. No, not even acts of kindness. Uh, actions. I don't even know like what that means. But like, <laughs> like if you're gonna say something, you better back it up with oh, actions. Okay. Mm. Right. Show me. Show me you love. Show me, me. You exactly. Love me. Love me. All right. Show me. Like, you can say the nicest things, but. When you're doing the complete opposite and making me feel that way, then it doesn't really matter. The math that you math then. Yeah. Or you can say nothing nice to me at all, but you do all the things to make me feel secure, then yeah. that's cool too. Yeah. What about you? What is love? Nah, they said bro. Verga. Ah, verga. <laughs> that's the next question. <laughs> no, no, I'm just kidding. No, nope. my miss. <laughs> no, I don't know. Uh, probably quality time. That's pretty much it. Oh, just, hey, just oh. <laughs> That's why you guys are like other, so far away. We see each other. <laughs> so much tension. I mean, do you notice they're matching too? Oh, yeah. yeah. Match with everyone. We're not ma- matching with us. Oh, yeah. well, you got We're kind of matching. We're right. That's my boy. Same. We're in a relationship. I can see that. I'll be cute. 2024, it's okay. He wants a short baddie. Yet. <laughs> <laughs> with some thick thighs. <laughs> With a fat dumb with a pH. With a dumpy. Yeah. With a dumpy. I got a shelf back there. <laughs> it's bigger than this he one said, right here. He said pull it up and park it. <laughs> oh, shit. I got the hazard beeps. <laughs> the semi back. The blinkers are on. All right. We're going to raise some red flags right here. But all right. Do you block X's? I recently let my ex back into the picture only for him to leave me ghosted the past two weeks. It's draining. I have followed him not too long ago, but he still has access to my account. I need, well, this was for Jen, but it said, I needed Baddie's advice. Aww. You're the girl in the group right now? Damn. Baddie? All right, Baddie. All right, I got this, guys. Hold on. Oh, period. Oh. He's like, I'm the Baddie. With him. Come on, my turn. Do you think, King? I haven't had an ex in a long time. I don't know. No, no, you take it away. <laughs> you take it away. Dude, I block everyone. Like, straight up, why do you still need any access to me? Mm. Like, for what? For what, huh? For what? Yeah. You left? Get out. You had me when you had me. Now, you, now don't. you don't. You lost me? Why? That's your fault, not mine. Like, you... That's This is what I tell a lot of people. It's like, you have personal access to me, social media and shit. <sighs> So, yeah, I'm going to block you on social media because if you needed me, you know how to get to me. Especially if you're my ex. You know where I live. You know my number. You know my bank account number, my routing oh number, <laughs> my Venmo, my cell. I'm just kidding. <laughs> cash, <laughs> cash app. What's up? <laughs> my cash app. 
But like, can Apple pay me? If you block them, are, do you feel like you're still thinking about them? As in like, oh, I got the better of you. Like, I got, I'm blocking you. At least that's the way I think of it. Like, I, I would rather just unfollow you and then let it be, right? Mm-hmm. Use another person. And then you can, see, if you still want to see your stock or that's whatever. Your shit. Yeah, yeah, right? That's cool. But I feel like just me thinking about blocking that person, I still have that oh, person in I, my yeah, mind. Oh, yeah, I get what you're saying. It's like a little reminder, right? I yeah. think for Constant me, reminder. like, ah, I got you. You can't look at, m- at my stuff, right? For me, it's more like out of sight, out of mind. Mm. Like, if I don't see you. Then why not just unfollow and if, don't think of And me. for me, it's like, if you don't see me, you're not going to think about me, and I'm not going to think about you. No, I'm, but then I think, the, I think I'm the opposite. I want you to see. Like, if we that's broke up with her, I... Because petty. Because you're toxic. super. No, that too, that too. Nah, I want, you, I want you to see, right? Like, I want you to see how good life is and what do I got to hide, right? How you said, you had access to me, you lost me, well, now you get to see my life through... From the outside. From the outside in. I want, you to, I want you to see I came to our favorite restaurant with someone else. Damn! <laughs> Their favorite coffee shop. Their favorite everything. coffee shop. No, that's diabolical. If you take someone else to the coffee shop, that's that's crossing well, that's the, the point. line. That's crossing that's the line. Just I, post one story, I don't just put people bag. on coffee shop. Did we talk about that? <laughs> yeah, we did. Yeah, yeah. Uh, take them everywhere. Just your favorite. Now, the coffee que- shop. So the question here for everybody watching is: Do you take your new person to places you used to go with your ex? <sighs> it depends. <laughs> okay. Right? Yeah. If yeah, you're yeah. trying to be toxic, you do it. You may or may not post it, especially if you know no. that they're still following. For me, it's like you're posting that shit. Like po- if, <laughs> like if like, I that's put, why if she blocks. No, no, no. If if I put my ex on that place, that's my spot. You so can't I'm, go there. No, I'm able to pull up with whoever the fuck I want. Oh, but you can't. Oh, you need to find yourself another spot. And if you see them there on site, I've already. It's already happened. Ooh. So, oh, oh, yeah. Reacting? yeah. Reacting? Okay. It's actually happened twice at the same spot. Oh, and I'm just kind of like. Hey, where's the Bruh. spot at? I want to go now. What's the there's, spot? There's there's right. multiple locations of this place. So you can go somewhere. Go else. to the Buffalo oh, Wild Wings. <laughs> <laughs> Hola. Stop. Pescado. Downy or Covina, bro. But yeah, I that's what I think. I think if I put my dude on that spot, like that's my spot. If he put me on that spot onto that place, I would never take. Okay, so what are what are places that you should not take? Your new person, where you used to take your ex? Is it theme parks, restaurants, uh, bars, or food places? Like I think things that are like, um, like a coffee, like a coffee shop for sure, right? Because you know that I go there every whatever often. So the, yeah. if I if I pull up because that's my spot, and so you like pull daily, up, it's daily kinda spots, like, bro, daily spots. Like you're like, here for one reason only. Yeah, like it's if, not to not show purpose, your girl. Yeah. If I know you went to Disneyland with another guy, we're never going. Really? Disneyland. Uh, this is where I got the picture. <laughs> we're, going, like, bro, we're going to Universal. Oh, you went there too? I guess we're not going to Knott's Berry Farm. No, I, feel I like guess we're staying home, like, bitch. <laughs> if it's like mom and pop shops, like a singular store, then yeah. I feel like that's a good... Like off limits? Off limits. For, for sure. But if it's like a cheesecake or a... I don't know, Olive Garden, Ola, like yeah. it's cool, bro. Ola, this <laughs> and, Ola. I've seen... A lot, there's been a lot of uh, um, posts about it, but you guys tell me, is it a red flag walking into a bar and you have your person with you and either you or her are saying hi to the securities, the bartenders. Uh, <laughs> if she dabs them up, oh, that's even worse. <laughs> it's Dude. like, hey. If you, if you would go to a bar with, with a guy and he's dabbing everybody up in there. I mean, I'm going to have a lot of questions. Mm. And you better have a hell of answers. My boys, what do you get? If you see your girl saying hi to the security. That's, it's I don't know. Though. Maybe, it's yeah. different though because, if, because a girl, if a girl is saying hi to a security, you're like, bitch. It depends on where. <laughs> girl, if it's, what? If it's at a club, you, you agree. You Thank you for that. You agree. Thank you for your agree. Like, because I don't think I, I go anywhere enough to like <laughs> recognize the fucking Because there's security. a difference. Like, like obviously, if we just see a guy outside, like, oh, like we just that much, yeah, right? Up? Up? Yeah. And then if yeah. we see him regularly, okay, cool. Yeah. But if a girl goes out the way to make that like, like, hey, how are you? Yeah, exactly. Damn, we can't, we can't take nobody. It depends on the hugs, too, you know? Yeah, there's yeah. Levels of oh. There's like those the front hugs. The, the, full the, really hug. Hug. the one that gets a little bit too one. low. Oh, when, oh, when they pick them up a little bit. <laughs> <Whoa. No. laughs> oh, my God, I haven't seen you forever. No, they pick them the up like. Feet dangle. <laughs> Damn, bro. There's levels. <laughs> right away, there's just levels. go Lights. home, my boy. Go home. She's not yeah. yours. Like she ain't yours. She ain't yours. She's, she's been. <laughs> she's, for she's for Ola. She's gonna. She's gonna. Literally for Ola. She's gonna say hi to someone inside the the bar or club, and oh, who was that? Oh, that's my ex. Oh, oh, oh. or that's my friend. That's yeah. my. 
It's always a friend. You, it's always a friend. It's always a friend. This is, again, raising red flags. Is it okay to be friends with your exes? If you have no ties, say no kids or anything. And to add more to it, you get a new relationship and, like, that's your homegirl now. I feel like if you guys were friends, good friends beforehand, or you guys were in that group of friends beforehand, and you guys broke up, I understand it. I was, it hasn't happened to me, but I, f- I would understand it, and I've seen other people happen like that. And the only way you should be friends with your ex and you're in a new relationship is if your new relationship communicates saying, hey, this is uncomfortable, maybe because you cross a ba- boundary. Yeah. Or... I don't know. I'm friends with all my ex. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Get out. <laughs> Meet her, Mike. <laughs> oh. She's like, I may need a friend sometime. But <laughs> say, you're, say you're, your new man says, I don't like you being friends with your ex. Would you let him control that? Fuck you, no. You, she wears a pants uh, relationship. No, no, no. I, I <laughs> She's think like, it, I think that's how you feel? Give a fuck. Like, did you cross a boundary? I, yeah, I would never be like, Oh, this is my ex. Like, dude, no. Like, I. Hey, this is my if, friend. Picking you up. I've, I've, been, I've been at the same, like, restaurants, bars, clubs as, like, with my current boyfriend and my ex boyfriend. Like, they're the bartender. And they're, oh, no. And they're there with their friends that I'm not, like, and they don't even know about each other. And I won't be like, oh, that's my ex right there. Like, why would I even say that for what? Yeah. It's not like we're going to approach each other. Like, that's true. We're not going to. You saying that is you want you want to cause problems. Yeah. What's the reason? Like, I'm not going to do that. Yeah. You want to end up somewhere like Punchbowl where last call. Bing. Yeah, we ain't doing that. No. Is the only Punchbowl in Rancho? Yeah. No, there's another one. There's another one. There's another one, but. I think there's one in San Diego. San Diego. Oh, no, yeah, yeah. I know there's one in Texas and, and, and San Diego, but like in the L.A. area. No, I don't think so. Yeah. Drive but we know I... we know places like Punchbowl. Oh, yeah, yeah. All around the area. Uh, Rude dogs. I don't know. I've never been. So. Rude dogs. Rude dogs. Uh, you get STDs there. Don't go there. <laughs> Do not the go cups. there. No, you just just walking in. You can. you would have you would have gotten mad if she kind of showed up on my side. Hey, anything. the silver tooth kids. <laughs> Those are something else. Oh, <laughs> their immune system. Yeah. Crazy, <laughs> it's all the metal in their teeth. All right. This was another. At this point, I wish I was. This is a little boost. <laughs> Tell me how you, how you guys feel about this. I was dating a guy. He just enlisted in the army, so he will be away for six months, basic training, and AIT. He swears he'll be back for me and eventually get married. Should I wait for him to be ready or for the relationship, or just move on or focus on me? Like, is that what she wants? I think. I think if you're asking, is you you just want someone to tell you to move on? Yeah, I think. Yeah, because like <laughs> he may not come back. <laughs> well. Like he's coming back after the basic training, right? Like, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Soon, right? so, allegedly, allegedly, I mean, he has to come back. Yeah, but I'm saying, come back. But back to, come back to you. Her. <laughs> so then, do you really want to have wasted six months? Oh uh, yeah, wait, that's of what your saying. life. Yeah, I think it's one of those like, hey, let's leave an open relationship. Oh right, oh. yeah, yeah. Oh, it'd, it'd be one of those. Yeah, things because where it's like, for our, our country. <laughs> wait for like okay, say there's no war so, going on right now. Wait, say your your new man. Like, say you start dating him, and then in three months, everything's really good, and he's like, hey, I'm leaving to the army. And Hi. Have fun. <laughs> I'm going to have fun without you. Que Dios te me bendiga, por favor. Te vas con Dios. Porque yo aquí me quedo. That's why I have trust issues. For real. Oh no, I just messed around. Go. What was your question? With, I think you answered it already. Would you, would you wait? Um, I think it depends, like, how long before the military thing Three months. How, oh, you were only together for three months? Say six. I think six, a six months. months is pretty good. Yeah, six months is pretty good. Um, it depends, like, who... Obviously, like, the dynamics of the relationship. Like, if you see this person as a long-term person... Yeah, yeah. Say yeah. that. Like, this you, is... It's the one? It's yeah. Like, why wouldn't you wait? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, why wouldn't you wait? I mean, you waited X amount of years to find the well, one. Well, you already why invested you? six months, right? Yeah. And obviously, in those six months... The military topic had to have came up. You guys have to have a plan around that, mm. around the three or six months that you're going to be gone. So you hold it down. What's going to happen when you come back? Like, basically, like, if this is your person, you've already talked about it. You've already, like, mapped it out and everything. So you hold it down. Yeah, why not? Would, if you were dating a girl that, that left to the army, would you hold it down too? 
Yeah, why not? Six months. I've waited, what, 34 years. I still talk oh, to my ex-boyfriends oh, in jail. To dude. find my what wife. What the fuck? <laughs> wait, wait, what? There's still hope. There's still hope. He's going to get out. Fuck? He's going to get out. He's, ser- he's serving two life sentences. <laughs> he's gotten out a couple of times, but he keeps getting going back in. <laughs> he only calls he's me when he's in hold. there. <laughs> t- hey, no, he literally time. only calls me when he's in there. Can you, can you uh, put some money in my books? Yeah, he asked me that the other day. No way. Did you do it? You did no, it. No, huh? I was asleep. So I was like, I don't like I don't even have the app. I don't know what you're talking about. All right, I'll call you later. <laughs> it's just a bank account. Be, a, be honest. I've never done it before. Heck okay. no. Oh, I was about to say. Heck all right, all right. I was about right. to say. Yeah. You put money worth, in the books. No, you're worth. Nah, I think this confession was very wild, but sorry, Chris, for this one. My best friend peed on someone's bed on purpose. And that person did the nasty with someone else on it. Catch it as they do. Trashy. And I'm going to leave it at that. You must really hate that person. Just going to leave That's it at that. fucking gross. And I bet he didn't even wash the sheets after. Well, they didn't know it got peed on. Still. <laughs> Lift the fucking mattress. <laughs> Jesus Christ. At least look at where you're laying down, right? <laughs> I mean, do you not clean your sheets to see the... It's a big old piece. Oh, like, How often do you guys clean your sheets? Like rotate? Well, I no, like obviously clean them. Oh, yeah, yeah. rotate. Like wash them? No, no, no. Clean, yeah. yeah, you clean them. Like yeah. a week, every week. I think like week and a half to two. Because that's when I, I do laundry. Two. But I also week like, I don't lot. sleep under um, the colcha. Oh, okay. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. <laughs> you don't? So sometimes I only wash the top sheet, the, the colcha, because I don't sleep under it. I'll sleep on top of it with the blanket on top. I sleep on the couch, so I don't even. <laughs> it's like we got a scrubby couch, bro. No comment. <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> no one sit on that couch. That's my bed. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> you think it pulls out, y'all? It doesn't even pull out. <laughs> I got two kids. I don't think it. <laughs> the couch. Oh, oh my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. <laughs> Bro. Bro has like five rooms and sleeps on the couch. I'm gonna say it. There's a couple stains in that couch that are a little questionable. <laughs> a little questionable. <laughs> we gotta bring that blue light that they used to do in the oh, don't. Couch. Oh, don't do that. Don't that. Couch that's just gonna fucking light up. Nah, there, there was a there was a post that I that I read the other day that people that live alone they love sleeping on the couch, and I was like, I was like, yeah, that's right. But I was I was trying to figure out why, but. Like, I don't know if it's just me being alone, but I have my my LEDs on, the TV stays on, like. In the living room. Tell you, get a dog again. That shit would die. <laughs> or some fishes. I can barely keep fishes. up with you guys. You guys are my dogs. Yeah, we're almost done. And I'm fucking oh, dying oh, right like now. I'm dying half the time. <laughs> nah, just kidding. If I have a fish, I'm just going to be floating. <laughs> well, at least it's going to be there. You for won't real, be lonely. For just real. change the water. It's going to be, it's 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 gonna gonna be haunted. It's going to be like Nemo. Finding Nemo when he's trying, when he's trying to escape yeah, the tank. The <laughs> it's all green. It's, hey, I've, I've been cleaning, guys. I've been cleaning. I'm, 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 I'm a total yeah, housewife yeah. already. Husband material. I swear to God, I clean. Yeah, I no, wash. No recycle cans, but it's cool. He's getting. I don't think green. Baby steps. Li- living, living on your own is kind of hard. Living is hard. Just oh my god! Oh. Damn! Tell us how you really feel. Bring, what have hey, been going through hey, lately? Brings us to this quote that that I read. React to it. Not a single person has tried to fight for me to stay in their life, yet I fought for everyone I lost. That is my pain. Damn. You can't even snap. So what is it that, what is it that you're asking? I could, I just didn't is it just to... a reaction? Just a reaction to it. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> no, it's true. But uh, it's like you guys said. It the... the one fighting. Yeah. I think I bringing it back to like what we said at the beginning where it's like relationships right now, there's not a lot of people that are willing to fight for the relationship. They're just very easy to let go and move on because, oh, I shouldn't be going through this or I don't deserve this. Or it's like, yo, like, what are yeah. you also doing? Yeah. What if you're not the best person to them and they're reacting to the way you're treating them? Guys and girls, obviously, there's girls that treat guys like pieces of meat and then there's vice versa. Yeah. You know, like... um what it, what is that saying? The pers- the next person isn't responsible for the past trauma that someone else gave you. Yep. And you can't bring that into the new relationship. Yeah. That's why you just can't be going into new relationships yeah. right after another, right? You gotta yeah. take time, process everything. Especially when you're heal. so hurt. 
Yeah, exactly. That's what we talked about not recently, right? Yeah. Like it's not fair to the person that you're getting into a relationship with to go in it hurt. Yeah. Because hurt people hurt people. Hurt and you're people just going to F people. them up. Yeah. When you go into a new relationship, do you want to know about your ex, your new person's past? Like her, their exes, their experiences? Is that something of of importance? Or it's like, well, I'm here now. Let's worry about. I think. Okay. I think it depends like how you guys came to each other. Right, like, did I meet you when you had a partner and then you still talk to me? Say, uh, or just brand new. Like, you both no, don't have a partner, no. but... Um, Found you at a coffee shop. Yeah. Know you. No, I would never want to know Like, just like the movies, hey, let me pay for your coffee. <laughs> I would never want to know, like, nothing. Like, nothing. I would want it, I would want that to be the first day and then from that day forward. Like, I don't care, as long as you're not, like, married or just not telling me the truth about, like, if you have kids, if you're not married, if you're married yeah. or if you have a partner at that moment... But if you're single and I'm single and we this is our first interaction, like I don't want to know anything about your past. I feel like I want to know. I feel like I want to know yeah. your traumas, what you've gone through. Okay, yeah. but to kind of know, I don't want to know like details about your past or like s- stuff like that. Like Obviously, super your traumas. Know, but yeah, your traumas, yeah like, like the <laughs> overview of like. <laughs> I, I want to know why. I want to know why you're reacting to this. I want to know why. why yeah, you, like what's feel, triggering yeah, you? Yeah, what what yeah. triggered you? And it's one of those like instead of me. Adding to that that trauma or adding to, but then that that also goes back to like don't date people if you're not done healing, mm. like. So you don't think people <laughs> can? You can't. You don't think people can be in a relationship when someone's still trying to heal? No, because no, you're wasting their time. So and what then, if you fall for somebody that's still not done healing, right? Yeah, and you just fall for them, like you yourself. I don't know. Do you try anything with them or? Do you accept that they're not done healing? No, because I would, like, if it was me that I was still, he- well, yeah, like, that I'm still healing and, like, somebody's trying to come on to me, like, I'd wish that they would respect the fact that I'm still going through what I'm going through. And then if once I'm good and we're both still be- available, then okay, cool. How do you know when you're in love with someone? You get to be comfortable being in your own skin. Anybody else? Um, I think you've said this before. It's like when their happiness makes you happy. I'm pretty sure you've said that before. Yeah. We've all said that. When you put their needs and wants before <clears throat> your own sometimes. Yeah. When, yeah, I think something similar to yeah, that. It's said that. your whole life can be up in flames right now, but when you're with that person, yeah. everything settles down. Yeah. You know you love that person when, they're the first thing you think about in the morning. They motivate you. They want. They make you be. They help you become a better version of yourself, and not because they need you to be, but because you want to be that person for them. Yeah. You want to be everything to them. You want to be the person they look up to, the person that motivates them, and the person that loves them unconditionally. Because now it's like people. People love you with conditions. Oh yeah. I'm gonna love you, but only the minute until. you look that way. Yeah, the minute you I'm do gonna this, I'm going to find somebody that only looks straight. Yeah, like if you tell me, hey, you don't, you feel you have low self esteem or you're going through, instead of, oh, she has trauma or he has trauma, instead of me running away right away, well, hey, how can we work on this? Yeah. What could I do as your partner to help you in whatever healing stage you got to go? And it's like, I think you, you have to be that dynamic duo. Obviously, we, we last week were with Jose and Anita. One of the most dynamic duos in the world. Oh, power couple for power sure. Power couple for sure. And and by the time you listen to this episode, go back and watch that one because that one was amazing. It's one of those like, I want to be better for you. You want to be better for me. So us having already that will and that motivation to be the best version of ourselves for each other puts us in a whole nother level. And I think that interview <coughs> teaches, well, at least it taught me, right? Timing. It's all about timing. Timing plays a huge role. Um, they were together, what, X amount of years? I think high school. Yeah. High they school. were high school sweethearts. Yeah. They broke up. Timing wasn't right. She worked on herself. He worked on himself. And now yeah. that they're both succeeding, they came back together, and it's just they're bettering their kids' lives, but their lives as well. Now they complement each other. Yeah, like they're as powerful alone, and yeah. then they're a power couple together. Is it like um, I'll, when I'm with you, all the noise around us, all the people around us, Go silent. Yeah. It's only me and you. 
and you can see it. Yeah. Like, that's how they feel about each other. Yeah. You can see it. It's literally, the, you see it in their videos, you see it in person. Yeah. It's like, there were so many people there, but at the time that you were interviewing them, it was just like, it was only them two. Yeah, like, even so the time that we had breakfast with them. Yeah. When I was oh, there, man. like, we, I mean, obviously you guys were talking, like, off to the side or whatever, but even in that moment, like, sitting on the same table with them, like, you can see that they just compliment each other. Yeah. I, yeah. Like, I want to look at my person and admire them. Yeah. Oh, why? I, I just love you. Why is You know, there's so many things I can say, but yeah. your presence is what I need in my life. And what I didn't know I needed in my yeah. life. Um, there was one, it said, the letter I in I miss you and I love you make a big difference. Yes. Like, when you tell me love you, love I'm you. like... Nah, you don't mean that I'll shit. You, I know you've told me a lot of times, like, <laughs> say it right. And I'm like, I love you. Yeah, because, I mean. Wow, that's crazy, because I've got to know. Love you. <laughs> any message. Wow, tell us how you really feel today. Wow, that's crazy. Not because it's, it's, it's so like, wait, with, through text, it's different, but. Nah, it's in person? At least. <laughs> it's like, a, it's like how he, he said it earlier. I'm going to tell you I love you, but I'm going to also show you. Yeah. Right. My loyalty, I'm gonna show it. There's no limitations to my loyalty to you. When I tell you I love you, that means I love you. I love your family. I love everything. Everything about, about you. you yeah. And if you need me, well, I got your back and your family's back. And if someone is against you, well, shit, they're against me too because this, I'm, I'm loyal to you. Yeah. Right. Like it makes no sense that all right, we're in a, we love each other. We have this loyalty that that we say, but yet I'm gonna go and hang out with my ex. No, but With yeah, ops, but it's like yeah. that's something that's gonna question. Yeah, like oh, how low? It's like I, your your issues are my issues too. Yeah, and I expect the same thing. <laughs> yeah, you anything outside of this, you have a problem with any one of us? It's like no, that's my problem too. Oh, that doesn't involve. I love that guy, or I love that girl. It involves me in some way, shape, or form. Because and then if you can't trust the people you hang out with that you bring into your own home that you sit at the table with to eat, yeah, then who can you can trust? trust. Right, our parents have told it. I'm I'm sure you guys heard it. Like, you can't even trust your own shadow sometimes. I know my mom told me that many times, and I'm like, yep. what does that mean? Like, you can't trust your own shadow. And I was like, damn. Like, there's really you can grow up with someone, you can go through hell and back with someone, and they could still turn their back on you without even second guessing it. It's, it's like the, the people you least expect to. The yeah, people your guard is so down. The, it's crazy when the people you love the most are the ones that hurt you. Or the ones that use your pain against you. Yeah. I don't know that one song. <laughs> don't eat right now to save a dog. Stop. <laughs> nah, it, it, it's just, it's in a time where there's a lot of relationships that are transactional. I'm only in this relationship because I'm going to get this from you. And when shit hits the fan and you get into problems and situations and you get into an argument, there's a lot of people that would leave right away. Yep. And then there's some that, you know, you need to take a step back. We did a healthy communi- a healthy way of communication the other day. <coughs> you let you, me and her. Even with, like, Jen, the last time we, like, got into it, <laughs> we had, like, the whole, we argued, boom, uh-huh. at it, and it's like, I'm going to take a step away. And I'm gonna come. We're gonna come back to this at a better time where we're both in a cooler headspace. I was just nice to you because I was at the end and out drive through. A girl with food. She was excited. Changes her. You should have fucking send her an In and Out gift card, my boy. <laughs> you should have been like, "Yo, Becca, meet me at In and Out." She would have ran there. She would have drove, ran <laughs> over me. <laughs> it would have been like, "Becca, I'm it's, here." It's See, this could have been avoided. You could have had the conversation a long, long, long time ago. That's true. So he he messed up. 100%. That's what you're saying. He's, he's a problem. Yeah. So he we're going to. what the fuck you're saying. He didn't say it. So we're going to end the podcast <laughs> now. Because I got a lot of self evaluation after this. Yeah. But, it's okay. man. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> not denying cool. it. It's okay. That one owner. It's not my fault. Never was. I'm always it's right. I'm me. sorry. It's never me. I'm, I'm always not right. The problem. I'm not the problem. Check in the mirror. Damn, that's crazy. Easy, I'll talk. Good thing there's oh she has her phone around. I was like, good thing there's nothing around her for her to throw. I'm gonna light that little purple thing on right now. <laughs> shit. You didn't get a serial number on it. That's just gonna smoke everybody out. But I think it was a good internal podcast. Thank you for everybody for sharing their confessions. Some of them were a little wild, some of them were interesting. 
I hope we're able to answer those intern those questions in our best ways, shape, or forms, and to our best abilities. Thank you for coming back, Becca, and keeping us in your life. We missed you. We missed you. Thanks for the snacks the you provided. I'm glad we made the cut. Yeah, I'm glad. We're yeah. the, she's, she, she after this one, she's going to evaluate. If, yeah. If oh. she doesn't turn back, if she doesn't turn on her location again, then we know we're not the right ones. Oh, you know how you can make it That was toxic, dude. I knew she was upset when she turned that shit off. You guys swear like you're the only people I share my location with. We like, should be your only ones. You know how no, she can make it up, It's a list, though? you guys. Lo- the first round's going to be on her. No, nope, first time's gonna be on here. I need an apology. A round of what? <laughs> of tacos dorados at Marisol Cuatro Vientos right now. The first round of hands is gonna be on me. <laughs> <laughs> was good. There's gonna be one one round. It's gonna be one round. Not did, if I go with them first. <laughs> did you come prepare with the quote? You didn't, huh? <laughs> Say, hold you on. guys can start. No, we already had. We already yeah. all said it. Yeah. So like five quotes in the span of twenty four hours. I know. It, you're the you're the guest of honor. Shout out Marisos Cuatro Vientos. We're going to go eat right now. Sponsored by Sour Apple. Sponsored by Sour Apple. <laughs> ah, shit. It's a party. We're getting one of each. <laughs> one of everything in that menu. All right. Okay. I have to take one of this. <laughs> the sniffles. Okay. So um, it's please believe there's still time for you to be all that you want to be. There is still time. Man, what did you Google? That was, that was I didn't Google it. I had it on my oh. phone. I was ready. She came prepared. <laughs> nice. You have another one? No, he can go. What? What? Got you. I thought you guys were ready. We had said in like 20 of them. Yeah, that's, that's why. All right. The one I have, it said, the battles you refuse to fight, your kids will have to fight them. Make sure you cue. Appreciate the small things, beauties and everything. You just need to learn how to observe. Damn, that's crazy. <laughs> Go for it. The only power people have over you is the amount of power you give them. <laughs> we got to go to those open mics. The poem, what is it? The poem, the poem slams? Yeah, what you, you can, you're horrible. The, the no, poetry the slams? The 21 Jump Street. <laughs> But Tussle Light Podcast, baby. Thank you guys for watching, subscribing, sharing, and until next week, let's go. Bye.